Hello Cancer and welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer. Alright Cancer, let's see what is going on. What does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know? Let's see. We have a no and it's a hell no. So <clears throat> I feel most definitely some healthy boundaries are being set here. So let's see where this is going. This is for cancer. What does cancer need to know? What does cancer? Okay. We have temptation. Mm going to be hard to say no, <laughs> right? But I feel like you're going to do it. So what is this that is tempting you? This is for cancer. What does cancer need to know? If this resonates with you, Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus side, as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So, however, it resonates with you. This is for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Big decision here. But is your final decision the final decision? Okay. All right, so we've got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So sometimes with these tarot predictions, this could be about job, this could be about family, friends, but this is clearly about some sort of lover here. All right, so I feel like this person is coming back around I'm seeing to kind of change your mind um, can it transform can the two of you start all over or are you just going to leave it where it is right are you going to leave it where it is so what is going on with this particular individual and you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart is um, I feel like their life is not going well with this tower moment. So they're reaching out to you for a little TLC. They're going to be testing the waters here. Just a little message to see if you will react. There is the temptation. Hey, how are you? How's it going? thinking about you, right? And some of you may say, oh no, I've blocked this individual. When somebody wants to talk to you, they're going to find a way. They're going to find a way, you know, whether they've got to create a fake account or a different email or whatever. They will say, hey, how are you? And I don't know if you're going to take take the bait. They're fishing, right? They're fishing. Now, some of you may be moving on to other things. Okay. But this person, I feel, they made some terrible choices in the past. They chose wrong. And now... It's kind of blowing up in their face. Blowing up right in their face because that, that's what they're looking at right here. All right. So things are going well for them or their choices. And this is why they're reaching out to you. 
to see if you guys can start fresh, start over, um, willing to play ball, let's say, at this point, because this person, they thought, you know, they had their options, and maybe you felt like you were one of their options and, and things like this. So I feel like they're going through huge transformations in their life, but have they changed enough to be with you to start fresh, start over? Ace of Cups here, you may have already moved on to something else, but that's not going to stop this person from trying to tempt you to come back. All right. So, I feel like you're very future forward right now. Um, a lot of you may ignore this situation, but it's they're going to try to tempt you. All right? So, this person's got a little bit of a plan going. They got a little bit of a plan. Three of Wands here. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. They may be very much aware that you are trying or you are actually moving on to someone new and leaving them behind and this is going to cause them to try to reach out to you to see if they've still got a hold on you, you know? So this person, they they're ready. To release themselves from whatever choices, horrible choices, by the way, that they've made in the past. But um, they realize, you know, it's they want your energy up to you if you you want to give it to them. You know what I mean? But I feel like a lot of you are moving on to new situations, exploring new energies. And honestly, you you may be happier without this person. So if they can't give you what you want, if they can't give you that wish fulfillment and to fulfill your cups and and make you happy, then you, you're not going to want to deal with this individual, right? So this is you standing your ground here. Right? Your arms are folded. I feel like you're going to be curious. But I, they're going to have to bring, they're going to have to bring it. Okay. They're going to have to be a lot more bold than just, you know, them trying to get your attention with some little weirdo message. They're going to have to bring it. All right. I just don't feel like you're falling for their old tricks. Right, so if they previously, when the two of you were entangled, they would message you and you would go running. That's not the case right now. That is not the case. Um, so I say good luck to them. So can they, can they change your mind in regards to your decisions at this point? You couldn't change theirs. Will you give them a second chance or is no your final answer? Judgment day is here. So we have the tower. This situation with this particular person was devastating to you. Um, and they're just, they're full of chaos. And I feel like um, now they're dealing with their own chaos, with the decisions that they made. So... I feel like this is going to surprise you when this person reaches out for you because I do feel like you felt very rejected and abandoned by this person because they made horrible decisions to go in a different way. King of Wands energy, they're not used to hearing the word no, and this is going to stir them up, okay? They do, certainly don't want you moving on to someone else else they've got a very territorial jealous streak about them you could be dealing with a fire sign male or female so if you do engage with their feeble attempt at getting your attention 
you're going to be real, real dry. All right. Real dry in your response. Page of Pentacles here. So we got the death card. You could see this a couple different ways. The Scorpio energy right here. Have they changed? The things that they've been through, and clearly they're going through something here. Has that elevated them to become the person that you need them to be? Can you start fresh and start over with this individual? Or have you changed? Have you evolved? And you're on your way to bigger and better things here because I see something new brewing for you as well. And it could get real complicated here. So, can they change your mind? Can they tempt you and change your mind? Please clarify the death card here for Cancer. This is for Cancer. Something to think about. Can you get your wishes fulfilled from this person? Can this person be who you need them to be? Or is it just a show? You could be dealing with a Virgo or you could be dealing with an Aquarius here. It can be healed. Clearly, both of these cards are very healing cards. But this is something that you're going to have to think about. This is going to make you take a step back and really think about everything. But you may be on a completely different road at this point. They want this. Now, is it too late for you? All right. It can be healed if you want it to, but this is going to make you really do some soul searching about this entire situation. So, whatever you want, whatever you wish, is what's going to happen here. All right, Cancer, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.